My name is John Moore, and I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I grew up on the north side in the fairgrounds area. I started drawing when I was a you know, little kid, so I'm a lifelong artist. I try to focus on really simple but powerful themes, and I like artwork that is very linear and has lots of color. And I want the artwork to be powerful enough and simple enough that a broad spectrum of people can soak it in and get something out of the artwork. The letter I did in the mural was the L in lives. And initially, you know, I wanted to do something that was very local since it was on Indiana Avenue. I thought, you know, I could do something about Madam J.C. Walker or hair. And as I was designing it, um, I saw other murals and I saw the aerial views of murals. And I just thought, man, it's so cool how like you can see so much of the mural from, from the aerial view. And as I saw that, I thought about messaging. And at the time, a lot of people were like really upset and you know, people were, were focusing more on what we could do to solve, solve some of these problems. And voting was something that I kept hearing about. And so basically the stars represent black people, black individuals. The green, black, and red represents the black community. And the word vote obviously means, you know, I want people to vote. And the ballot is the ballot box, and the ballot is actually blue for voting Democratic. So that letter is actually just a sentence for black people, black individuals, and the black community to get out and vote Democratic. I think the mural is important because it gives people a sense of productive activism. So it's not just people talking about something. There's something that is being done. And even though it's just a mural, it's not like it's changing everything. It's something that people can look at, they can point to, they can see a before and after. It's a starting point for people to continue that activism.